just want to play with their baby. what happens when the writer director resents religion and uses mainstream Hollywood to tell a secular fantasy about it. A preachy post matrix trench coat gung fu action horror that's like going to mass at Hot Topic. The story, what if God was actually the bad guy? To stop a pregnant waitress carrying Jesus 2.0, God sends angels to possess people to kill other people. So, Yard Cell Terminator meets EBT Evil Dead. <laughs> but the cast, the cast is just perfect blend for this type of top tier trash. We get Adrian Palicki as trailer trash Virgin Mary. Yeah, I prefer it that way. I don't need a man telling me what to do. Lucas Black as her simp and Dennis Quaid as his dad who's lost his faith. Just gonna clean up her mouth while she steps out with every other guy but you? Don't say that about her. She's not like that. Charles S. Dutton as that old man from church. I gotta get my Bible. What for? Somebody's gotta stop praying. Kate Walsh as the rich white chick, skeezy daughter sold separately. How could she go out in public looking like that? And last but not least, Tyrese Gibson as, yo, that show is whack. Too dangerous. Fuck you mean too dangerous. So the arch ankle might arch ankle. So the archangel Michael rebels against God, comes to earth and vows to protect Sarah Connor as God judges mankind with black eyed, shark mouth zombie angels. Makes perfect sense. And this is when the film's best efforts provide unintentional laughs as it plays musical Bible references. find old ladies and ice cream men scary. Man, this movie is pregnant with unintentional laughs and what moments. From its ridiculous efforts to play fast and loose with the Bible to its pretentious storytelling and dialogue. And Tyrese, God love him, has the best line delivery in the movie. Bullshit. Now I'm not a pastor, but I've never heard of no ice cream man or old lady eating raw meat jumping on the ceiling with baby teeth so i don't know what the fuck you talking about he's just there to be the one with a gun and because they couldn't afford will smith and the film tries so hard to portray moments that it clearly had no reference for they do the hollywood my water broke so my baby's coming just start pushing cliche like no one on set had any idea what it's like to give birth to a child then during a high-speed chase turned multi-flip car crash, they have the nerve, the nerve, to even show the speedometer at 120 miles per hour before this happens. <coughs> I 
Audrey. No seatbelt, no car seat for the baby. Just gave birth like 20 minutes ago. How they survive? Houseway, how? Transitioning in this some of it bad, so bad. Legion has everything you could want for a mainstream release, so bad it's good movie. Cast of subpar royalty, ridiculous gimmicky concept, and takes itself way too seriously. A new metal rap rock song mutating on film. Legion plays out as if Insane Clown Posse was the house band for a church of recovering atheists. This movie is so shallow. The concept, so flimsy. The scares stay on the surface without a chance to become anything other than punchlines for jokes you've already heard a million times. You're gonna die now. Final verdict, Legion is just shy of being a trash piece, but damn if it doesn't try. Everything, I mean everything, Legion tries is stolen from other films or is hilariously out of context bastardized scripture. You can play a little bit with biblical lore and still make a decent thriller. If you've seen The Prophecy with Christopher Walken, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if Legion had actually given some thought or time to its characters, the same way Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead remake managed to, it would have definitely been a trash to piece. That said, there's plenty of dumb for believers and non-believers to enjoy. And that's it. That is my review of Legion starring Paul Bettany. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here next time for more bootleg videos.